Welcome back everyone. This is the second Blue Apron meal from our latest shipment. And that is going to be a Bucatini Bolognese with Brussels sprouts <laughs> and Pecorino cheese. Let's head right over to the stove where you'll notice right off the bat I've got water boiling. That's going to be for the pasta. We'll come back to that. In this pan I've got uh, one tablespoon of olive oil. Heat is on medium high, so it's a six on my stove. This is one carrot, finely chopped. One yellow onion, chopped. And four cloves of garlic, finely chopped. And we'll mix this up. We're gonna let it cook for four to six minutes in the oil, and it'll soften the onion and the carrot. Our uh, onion, garlic, and carrot has been cooking and you can see that the onions have softened up. They've got a nice, almost translucent color to them. I did add a pinch of salt and pepper to that while we were away. Now I'm gonna add in some ground beef. We're gonna cook this for another four to six minutes. I'll break it up along the way and we're basically cooking until this meat is browned up. Sausage cooked uh, the base of the sauce, so now I'm gonna add in the tomato sauce and one cup of water. I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna stir this and let it cook for uh, about five, six minutes. This is eight ounces of tomato sauce. And by the way, that was one and one eighth pound of hamburger. With this sauce, I forgot to tell you, I turned the heat up to bring it up to a boil, and now that it's simmering, I turned it back down to the six, uh, which is medium high on my stove. Five to or six to eight minutes for that. This is our pasta high boiling water and that's going to cook for uh, eight to ten minutes until it's al dente. Pasta is done. We're going to take this over and strain it. And we're going to reserve about three quarter cup of the pasta water. Cooked pasta. Two tablespoons of butter. Our finished sauce. Half of the uh, basil, tearing it as I throw it in. One bunch, so this is half of a bunch of basil. Stir it until it's combining. Pasta water. Just gonna add a little at a time. It's supposed to start with three quarters of a cup. And it should take about half of that, but if it looks dry, add more. I'm gonna probably end up with about half a cup in. Brussels sprouts. Four ounces of Brussels sprouts. Stir to combine. We've put the servings into the bowls. I'm just gonna throw a little fresh basil on top. And then the last thing is the uh, grated pecorino cheese. And, uh, a little sprinkle on top. There you go. Bucatini bolognese. I will let you know how it tastes. So the verdict is in on our Bucatini bolognese and it was two thumbs up from Junior, two thumbs up from my daughter. He didn't get any. My wife said it was okay for a bolognese and I have to agree with her. It was, it was okay. It wasn't a wow, knock your socks off. Uh, so I'll, we'll give it two thumbs up but it's not one that's going to blow anybody away. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, and like. So, uh... Especially for this guy. High five on that, huh? Yeah, give me it. There you go. And uh, give me your comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you check back soon. Take care.